Welcome to the product introduction of OSG's new industry solution for drilling heat-resistant super alloys and hardened steels up to 55 Rockwell, the ExoPro WHO NI. What today's introduction will cover includes the basic concepts behind machining heat-resistant super alloys, the features of the new ExoPro WHO NI drill, suitable applications, performance data from the field, how OSG stacks up to the competition, and last but not least, see the WHO NI in action. Machining heat resistant super alloys. What exactly are heat resistant super alloys? A simple definition includes alloys that exhibit super mechanical strength at high temperatures and have excellent corrosion resistance properties. Common super alloy groups include nickel-based, iron and nickel-based, cobalt-based, and titanium-based. For this presentation and further discussion on the WHO NI drill, we will focus primarily on the nickel-based categories. So why are heat-resistant superalloys so difficult to machine? Let's start by comparing the machinability index of several materials found throughout the manufacturing industry. First, we look at AISI B1112, a free machining steel, and assign that as a baseline with a machinability index of 100%. We then compare common materials to our baseline to get an idea of how easy or difficult a material is to successfully machine. Starting with the carbon steels in blue, we find a rating between 60 and 80%. Moving to stainless steels in yellow, we can see a rating between 40 and 60%. Finishing up with nickel-based alloys, we find ratings between 5 and 25 percent, a clear indication of how difficult these materials are to successfully machine. This is approximately 10 times more difficult than the baseline B1112. Common nickel-based alloys found in industry include Hastelloy, Waspaloy, Inconel 718, and Rene. We can also see from this chart the machinability of these common alloys becomes increasingly more difficult as we move from Hastelloy to Rene. The properties that make nickel-based alloys excellent engineering materials also make them difficult to machine. Nickel-based alloys have high strength, can work harden very easily, are highly abrasive, have a low thermal conductivity, have chemical affinity, and have high elongation. These properties can lead to machining issues including high cutting forces, high cutting temperatures, lack of machining precision, and poor surface finish. In order to successfully machine these materials, we need specialized tooling. We need the new industry solution. We need the new WHO NI drill. The WHO NI has many features that assist in its ability to effectively cut difficult to machine materials. One, it has a low helix. With a low helix, the drill itself is more rigid by having a lower rake angle and larger core diameter. The low helix also allows for quick and efficient chip evacuation. Two, a sharp cutting edge. OSG has applied a very special preparation to the cutting edge. This honing creates a rigid edge to resist chipping while cutting tough alloys while still remaining sharp to effectively shear the material and keep work hardening to a minimum, all while maintaining stable chip formation. 3. Coolant through feature, a must-have when machining difficult alloys. This feature also helps reduce work hardening by keeping the cutting edge cool and assisting in chip evacuation. 4. WXS coating a proprietary OSG coating for excellent heat and wear resistance. This coating is the true secret of the drill success. Let's explore the WHO NI features a bit more closely. Here we can see a close-up of the edge prep on the drill. As mentioned before, this feature will reduce work hardening while producing stable chips. Here we can see the perfect chip shapes created by the WHO NI versus chips created by a competitor drill. Which do you prefer? 
the low helix feature increases the rigidity of the tool by allowing for a larger core diameter and will ultimately produce more accurate holes when compared to a drill with a higher helix. As can be seen from this in-house test, hole expansion was kept to a minimum with the highly rigid WHO NI drill. Much better precision than the competition. This is a great feature when machining high precision parts such as those found in the aerospace industry. The WXS coating is the secret to the WHO NI's success. The WXS coating was originally developed for milling of hardened steels found in the dye mold industry. During the drill development process, OSG tested a variety of coatings, TIALN, WXS, among others, but WXS prevailed as the winner, showing the best performance with the best tool life. The WXS coating itself has a very high oxidation temperature. This is the most important feature for the reason why WXS was chosen for this drill. When machining heat resistant alloys, extreme temperatures are produced and this heat has a tendency not to go to the chip, but stay in the material near the cutting edge. Having a coating with a very high oxidation temperature is very important. Suitable applications. Nickel-based alloys can be found in almost all areas of the manufacturing industry. The most common areas, however, include aircraft engines and turbofans due to the fact that nickel alloys maintain their strength at elevated temperatures. Also, subsea components for the oil and gas industry, as well as medical instruments and implants, due to nickel alloys high resistance to corrosion. Performance Overview Here we have in-house development results. We tested versus all major manufacturers with their preferred drill for heat resistant alloys. The results are very telling. Long tool life, almost 500 holes in hardened Inconel 718, and only moderate predictable wear rather than shipping or breakage. Versus the competition. Here is another test versus a major competitor in an Inconel 718 forging. Prior to OSG walking in the door, the customer was lucky to get 30 holes. We produced almost 200 holes and increased speed almost two times and the feed by almost five times. And now, WHONI in action. The one and only WHONI, best drill on the market for drilling heat resistant alloys and other tough to machine materials. For more information, 
please visit our website at www.osgtool.com.